Hey what's up guys and welcome to a new video and this video is about Premiere Rush. So this is the new Premiere that's been dropped by Adobe and this is more meant to be simple and targeted at YouTubers apparently. So I'm gonna do a quick test and this is my first time using it so just to test out what it's like and see how I feel about it and I'll definitely try to edit all of this video on Premiere Rush so that I can make a follow-up video and let you guys know what I think about it. But for now, let's kind of go through it together, see what's new, what's different and whatnot. So I'm just creating a project name right now. It's kind of telling me how to do it. So let's just choose three videos. Why not? Let's go with this. So cool. That looks pretty damn cool. Okay, sweet. So it just prepares your media for you. My only concern is I'm just going to wonder if this is going to be a lot smoother than what Premiere Pro was because that was horrible. Even if they tried, they couldn't have done a worse job optimizing Premiere. So I'm kind of hoping this is a little bit better. So firstly, this is already crashed by the looks of it. Well done, Adobe killing it as always. Yeah, cool. This is just not responding already. That's brilliant. Okay, we're in, I think. Let's try to play this video if it wants to play. While I've got everyone here, I would just like to give Adobe a brilliant round of applause for the amazing job they've done at optimizing this because by the looks of it, this is already crashing and we haven't even started. Oh my God, look at that. I'm not even clicking anything right now. I don't know what it's doing. And the brilliant part about this is I'm using their own bloody footage. Jesus Christ, Adobe, sort yourself out, honestly. The point of this isn't meant to have like some crazy machine to deal with it because you don't really need to have that. This is meant to be editing on the go and you can do it on your iPhone and whatnot. So pause, we'll kind of just go through the tutorial and see what it can do. So it says select a clip. Cool, so this lets us, oh wow, scrubbing is actually not bad at all. That's actually proper impressive. So we can click on the scissors to get a little chop in between. That's nice. Let's do some rearranging. Oh, damn. And then we can do some trimming by cutting it smaller if it responds. Come on, Adobe, I believe in you. And it's not... I don't know whether this has anything to do with me recording my screen at the same time, but you know, it is what it is. Oh, wow, look at this go. So we can choose different. Okay, that's impressive. The question is, can you? We'll come back to that because I'm curious, okay. Okay, so I'm using this on a Dell XPS 15 with a Core i7, Quad Core i7. So if this is lagging on this, I don't know what the hell, Adobe's on, let's try that again. Okay, that's nice, easy, simple, that's awesome. Okay, so let's try to add a title, that's nice. You can do voiceover, you can add different media. Okay, cool. So let's try, hello world. So then you can do different versions. Okay, so I don't, so far, my impression is I don't think this is going to replace Premiere Pro at all. However, I'm not going to lie, because this is so much smoother and cleaner than Premiere, I wouldn't be surprised if I did majority of my editing and putting together like on this and then just kind of if I wanted to do fancy transitions or anything like that and just dump that onto Premiere Pro and do whatever I needed to because this is pretty damn cool. I'm not going to lie. And then this is how you share your project, I'm assuming, with the rest of the world on YouTube on Instagram, whatever you want to share it on. I'm starting to think the fact that this is not responding might have a lot to do with me recording while I'm actually doing Premiere. I'm I'm guessing that's what it is. What I want to know is when it asked me to edit color, which was through here, can I, oh yes, Adobe. I think if this wasn't here, they would have definitely shot themselves in the foot. The reason, the, the fact that this alone is, this is what I was hoping when I saw presets, I was hoping this would be here for me to still do whatever I wanted with it. And I'm glad it is because that is pretty damn awesome. Bluey, you can do, do your like vignetting. Okay, that's not too bad, I'm not gonna lie. I can definitely see myself fixing up my audio on this, do my video on this, edit to everything I want to, and then potentially just porting it into Premiere Pro, which I'm hoping they've made simple enough for me to push into Premiere Pro. I really, I genuinely am hoping that's what they've done here. I could be wrong. Okay, cool. So you definitely can do quite a bit of editing to your audio as well. Um, I'm not gonna lie guys, so far, I like it a lot. I mean, look how smooth that playback is. I'm curious what, let me dump a 4K, hold on, let's just get rid of everything. And let me just dump a 4K video into this. Okay, so what I've dumped in here is a fully edited video from my YouTube channel. So this was the Blastoise build that I did earlier. I'm just curious how it's going to handle 4K. So we're already getting a little bit of lag when it's trying to. Let's see. I'll definitely drop a comment below or when I do a full edit of this video on this. I'll let you guys know whether this lag and all this like not responding is because I'm recording at the same time because I'm starting to think that might be the reason. As far as I'm aware, this is full 4K and let's just see how it handles it. Preview call. Let's push that to high from medium. 
Okay, I'm not gonna lie, look at the timeline scrubbing. I genuinely think this alone is gonna save Adobe from, like, don't get me wrong guys, I love Premiere, I, I use Premiere a lot, like Premiere Pro, I really do, but it's just so choppy and laggy, like timeline scrubbing is hell, if anyone that uses Premiere would know. Um, and again, I do all my editing on this um, Dell XPS 15, so it's got a quad core i7 and NVIDIA something or other graphics card. Okay, so this has been a quick walkthrough of this and all the little settings and buttons. Um, I am going to do a follow-up video with everything that I found while editing, and I'm going to spend a few days kind of tweaking it and re like playing with it as much as I can to give you guys like a full detail run through and kind of my thoughts on it. But until then, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, smash thumbs up down below, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!